This video is sponsored by Harry's. One of the things we love most about living in a van is having the freedom to go wherever we want. What is the one thing in life that makes you smile? For us, it's new adventures and brand new scenery for our eyeballs to feast on. And Scotland has really surprised us on our travels. We knew it was going to be beautiful, but we didn't realise just how unique and peaceful and exciting it is. It's a country that's got it all. A lot of lockdowns have been taking place across the UK, but luckily we've stuck to the Highlands for the past two months, so we've still been able to move about, whilst being careful, of course. Since we started renovating our bus, we always dreamed of full-time travel, being out on the road with complete freedom. As long as the wheels keep turning on custard, we're gonna keep on going wherever the wind takes us. On this particular week, the wind blew us west to the Isle of Skye, what is happening guys? We are Craig and Amy and you are watching King and It! And this week we're exploring some of the best things to do on the Isle of Skye. Waking up in the middle of nowhere is still as exciting to us as it was at the very start of our van life journey. Especially when you get somewhere really late at night and the scenes the next day are an utter surprise. Yep, that's custard all the way down there. 0.8k. <laughs> you didn't tell me it was that far. Today we are heading to Brothers Point, brother, on a nice brisk afternoon here on the Isle of Skye. The sun is out, which is lovely. We haven't had any vitamin D for a while. The sun's only out though because it was an absolute torrential avalanche of a storm last night. The bus was rocking. The, the wind and the rain on the side, it was so loud, wasn't it? It went a little bit like this. It's so relaxing. I couldn't even read our books, like. <laughs> so yeah, we're out today. This spot looks incredible. The best part about most of this coastline is that there's a potential to see dolphins and minke whales and seals. So not only is it going to be a lush looking spot, hopefully we might make some new friends as well. I've got a great feeling about today. I just want to say as well guys, I've been reading online now so many of you have had your trips cancelled because of Covid and you know you were just about to pack up and maybe make your way up to the NC500 and stuff and I'm gutted for you, yeah. truly am. We've had trips cancelled because of Covid as well and yeah I just want to say don't worry about it okay, save your money and then next year you'll have so much more money to do like more great things when you get there. Yeah, just try and keep yourselves busy. We've been posting um, Instagram stories every morning saying take 15 seconds to breathe. Nice. And sometimes it's as simple as that because you hold yourself so tight when you're stressed and your shoulders go up and your neck gets tense. So just relax your shoulders. Do it with me. Do it with me. Relax your neck. Relax your voice box. And just take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Let's go and find some whales for you. <laughs> Rubanam brethren. <laughs> I'm glad that wasn't a left <laughs> Right, how is this happening now? <laughs> oh! That could have been worse, that was a good save. <laughs> I literally thought you broke your back then, you were. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was a bad idea as soon as I jumped. <laughs> Just do what I did, just jump into the mud, you'll be fine. <laughs> oh my god, this is going to be heroic. Just ski, get the ski action going. I'm going to have to. You're never going to fall on them, even if you try. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, she's down. She's down. <laughs> no! Oh no, I've got cream trousers on. Cream, me bum. I told you to ski, what happened? I just thought it's out. Oh, for sake. Just go wipe it on a sheep, you'll be alright. Right, let's I get it. I grabbed the barbed wire as well. Oh, no, babes. What's happening in the bath? Oh, you don't want to see the bath. No, is it alright? Oh, no. <laughs> Die, Rizzle. 
Oh, crikey. Never going hiking again, Craig. <laughs> We've got to go to the top, have we? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. We've been travelling for 18 days. My beard is on fleek. We have crossed terrain of all kinds. Our lives have been in danger, but we're nearly there. Nearly there. We made it to the top. How we got rainbow? Did you bring that fudge? I did, yeah. Did you? Yeah. Look how happy you are. We, went, we stopped at the sweet shop, didn't we, love? Well, this can be our congratulations. Not a shred of water between us, but we got a big bar of fudge. <laughs> I swear <laughs> on my life, Craig, I'm never coming hiking with you again. So it turns out it's over there, love. It's a shame, isn't it? You need to come up. You didn't need to be on this one. It's nicer. I like. I prefer this one. It's nicer. I prefer the ground. It's nice and soft. Don't look now, but it's behind you. I know, Craig. We're supposed to do three activities today, and it seems like we're only going to do one. <laughs> should have thought about that when you dressed, then, shouldn't you? Well, we've seen it now, so should we just? Take an application forms for the next King and It Don't recruit. Do it. He's not professional. Um, because this one just can't hack it. He'll take you on a wild goose chase. So if anyone fancies a job and an adventure with me, it's send an email to King and It Recruit at gmail.com <laughs> and, so, and PayPal me £100. <laughs> and just past the chocolate drops is the Almighty Brothers Point. We made it. Oh. <laughs> you gonna cry, yeah? saying then you're having a little reflection on life i was i was just saying like i hate to admit it because i'm not really much of a walker but it really feels lovely to do this to be out like with the wind blowing and it wakes wakes your whole soul up and gets your bones moving you know and then to just come and see this kind of landscape and relax and enjoy it and just be so chilled here and watch it watch the world go by it's just wonderful. It's a slice of magic here, isn't it? It is, yeah. And the best part is there's literally nobody else here either. It makes you reflect, doesn't it? Mm. Reflect on everything you've got. You don't take anything for granted and... Yeah, lovely. Do you move to Sky? I'd love to. I ain't moving with you. <laughs> either. Ah, you shake yourself. <laughs> no, no, can't show me. <laughs> This, this is what our relationship is made out of. If I bend over to get something out of the cupboard in the bus, I'm like... <laughs> no, that's what I do, because you're it. worse than me. Stop it. <laughs> Before we carry on with the video, we'd just like to take a minute to thank this week's sponsor, Harry's. My favourite part about shaving is how much smarter I feel after it. A lot of people say... Oh, Craig! Yeah? Your moustache is looking precious! Thanks very much. But my least favourite part about shaving is how expensive razors are and how they become so blunt so quickly. That is until Harry's came along. Harry's is a personal care brand that has reinvented the way you shave, helping you to shave in a hassle-free way. They also support great causes by giving 1% of their global sales to non-profit organisations that provide mental health care for men in need. Now that for me is pretty special. Look at this thing. It's like the Rolls Royce of luxury razors. And it shaves like an absolute dream. The precision trimmer is great for your sides and the hard to reach places, like under your nose. The shaving foam is so creamy you could probably use it in your coffee. Mm. And ladies, these razors aren't just for men. Sweet. It's also great for shaving your legs. And if you sign up with our link, then you'll get this shower gel for free. 
which smells absolutely incredible. Thanks, babes. So get your trial set for just $3.95, and when you go to harrys.com forward slash king in it, you'll also get this free shower gel, which smells banging. All right, so we've driven about four minutes of the road to a place called Kilt Rock, which is a waterfall that jets off, off a cliff. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> All this walking is making me see now. <laughs> it jets off a cliff from a lock. This place is mad. Does it? Yeah. Where's the lock? Where is it? That's, that's not connected though. Yeah, it is. Come and have a look at this, babe. I'll show you now. I'm only going here now because it's dark because Craig said there's some kind of dinosaur fossils and if you know me, you know I love dinosaurs so come on then We mentioned at the start that this place is like surrounded by Jurassic history they've actually found loads of dinosaur footprints fossilised from like 170 million years ago Is this them? Yeah <laughs> Look at the size of that! Uh Obviously a kid's just drawn that, haven't he? No, that's a real fossil. That's not real. That's not real. Check your foot on that. See how, see how the difference. Imagine that standing Look at on it. you. Like someone's just drawn that from the local primary school. Whatever, oh, they're I'm real dinosaurs. <laughs> See, it comes, it comes from the river and then goes yeah. off the cliff. Man, isn't it? And just to think we can sleep just, just over there. Yeah, it's on park for night by there. And just go to bed with the sound of the water droplets of the waterfall. Lush, that, isn't it? Lush. And this, apparently you can see seals and whales from here. Yeah. So we'll have to keep a lookout. We'll have to come, come here tomorrow morning and have a go. I don't want to suggest a sunrise, Craig. Oh, someone's really. But what sunrise? Routine. Like half eight? It's like <laughs> yeah, really. Late. It's not even early. Oh, that'll be class. Let's have coffee out here in the morning. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so when we were leaving Brothers Point, we saw a stalker by our van parked up. We were like, "What's this weird guy doing?" We was lurking. Like, we weren't even sure like, whether we could approach him or not. Turns out they're a lovely Scottish couple who are travelling around in their van and they've invited us over for a glass of wine. Oh, that is lovely. Should we go and have a look? Yeah. Come in. Hi, oh, yeah. Come in. You're on the vlog, by the way. He's on the vlog. <laughs> the, uh, the fire alarm isn't going off. <laughs> so I don't know what Martin's put in the oven, but he's nearly burnt the place down. Is it Sue's, is it? What are you doing? Oh, she's melting the pot. Oh, you're not! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'll show you. It's coming kind of melted and stuck to the. Oh. <laughs> it still looks all right, though. We'll just cut it off. Who parked that by a pedal? You are the worst, Craig <laughs> She didn't wake up for coffee by the waterfall, did she? Why is it a lock on it, like? <laughs> so, uh, we've got some porridge this morning with our giant nut selection. <laughs> yep. And we've got a nice view. So we came to this beach. I was hoping to get a wave today, but the waves aren't that great. There's a bit of a mission to the beach. So we're gonna give that a miss. pull over because of the view and we didn't even have to hike this one best part is look at that free chocolate peanuts free mix. chocolate peanuts oh don't do it craig oh they're lush as well oh no <laughs> It's 
excuse me, um, where do I find the science fiction section? Oh, have, you, have you got any Stephen King in stock? What are you on about? At the li uh, is this not the library? <laughs> not everybody, Craig, that owns a blazer, works at the library. You work in the library, you work in the library. <laughs> we made it to the Fairy Glens. We're going to have a little frolic. Apparently there's fairies here. Who knows? At least I don't look like Jigglypuff. Oh! <laughs> I'm not going near that. <laughs> Dropped a massive cigar in the toilet earlier. <laughs> Five pound TK Max trainers coming through. <laughs> so if we can get on top of that, and by we I mean you. How much are the late fees? They're a smack in the bollocks, Craig. Woo! Thinking of making a curry tonight, Craig. We could put these in there. They look quite fiery. They look like they'd probably blow your yeah. pants off if you just touched them. <laughs> See any shapes? We'd uh, we crack crack out another weird vlog like last week. Yeah, that's how we got the, the vlog last week. Yeah, yeah. Take a couple of shrooms, local oh, shrooms. Pop them in your pocket then. Natural, isn't it? Natural. We may have gone a little bit crazy in a local supermarket. Delivery for Custard the bus. Who's your mate? Don't worry, we won't eat you. Nah, he's like, what have you got in the box? We got, we found the local shop and we were like, oh, we can't find any soya milk in here. Nah. All of a sudden, we found a section with literally so many good things. We've got vegan haggis. We got black yes. pudding, vegan. Amazing. Just incredible. We spent about 75 quid. Yeah, it was. It's gonna last about two days. But... Yeah. So we've just pulled up to the campsite He's told us to help ourselves and we cannot lift the toilet. And we topped it off with a, a nice big baseball bat this morning. No, Craig, I don't no do room. baseball bats. There's no room in there, so she just went on top. So yeah, we, we've been free camping for about five days now. Is it? Yeah. So yeah, toilet time. So by the time we do laundry and all the rest of it, we might as well just stay. So yeah, it's a nice little spot though. Yeah. Big Bay. Campsite. That's a lovely little noise there. <laughs> don't need the back. Okay. Hurry up. Oh, hurry up. Oh, okay. oh god, why do we do this? Looking like a pair of burglars, we then proceeded to try and empty our toilet. There's so much we love about van life, but staring down each other's plops isn't one of them. Welcome back to Holmesy's Kitchen. Tonight we're having vegan sausage and beans on a bit of lightly toasted tiger loaf. And we've also found some vegan black pudding, which I'm going to fry up. Smell that? You lucky cow! I'm so hungry. I'm so ready. Smell my black pudding. What? Oh, it smells like plasticine. Don't talk about my food like that, come on. We're having breakfast in the night because we just don't care. We're adults, we can do whatever we want, alright? Don't you love that? You just, just do what you want. You haven't got your mum or your dad to tell you what to do. We're just doing whatever we want. Do what we want. Love it. Arrest us if you want. He's literally... He's literally... Oh, I calm down. It's only a bit of smoke. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Which one is it? Don't panic! Oh, my ears. <laughs> I think it's for a house, that's why it's so loud. Ridiculous. It's probably cookier. Yeah? Morning lads! The sun is shining here in Scotland. It's a beautiful day and today we are heading to Coral Beach. Go on, Kirsten! Fans, where are we going then? So, uh, fans, we 
are off to a place called Coral Beach. We've kind of spent most of the day just like doing admin work and stuff, which we really shouldn't have because the day has been mighty fine today. But we're gonna catch the beach for sunset, which is apparently the best time of the day to go. There she is in the distance. Look at that white sand and the pink clouds. Bloody gorgeous. What are you saying? You can go for a swim on your own, sunshine. I was really excited to come to this beach because I do like beaches but I usually sit under like a parasol and Craig's like you're such a vampire and I am I feel like I'm allergic to the sun but it's because I heard that there's um, cows come on onto the beach um, and I can bloody see one <laughs> Craig there's a cow yeah <laughs> I swear. Um, fingers crossed he comes near me I'll calm down so I don't scare him there's more than one <laughs> away from the beach the sun was setting the seas were stunning but the wind was cold as f this is always our problem now when we find somewhere on park for night the app that we use to know where to park we always manage to be like that and in the, in the morning i'm like my back hurts craig <laughs> we've got the little you know the little plastic slider things that you put under your your wheels to sort of level you out a bit but we can never be bothered to get them out we always end up arriving somewhere so dark it's a bit scary you know so we're just like huddled in the van no one wants to get out guess we'll just sleep upside down tonight don't do that you crazy man <laughs> are you gonna get the levelers out nah go side markers i put those on You're sick mate let us know in the comments should i have one of those on that side or is that road legal might have to stop in the garage Another magical wake up spot and right over this hill was a magnificent castle. Scotland pulling it out of the bag once again. Now we can never fully give you an opinion of a place until we've done some kind of outdoor water activity. So uh, we're on our way. Morning lads, we're back with Doug from Sky Highland Adventures <laughs> and today he's going to take us river tubing. Yes. We told you we'd show you the best things there is to do in Sky, and I've got a crazy feeling that this is going to be one. I'm ready for this. I know Matt's ready because he's had half a bag of Harry Bow. <laughs> Peter Peard.
free chocolate peanut. Another chocolate peanut, me. So that is it for this week's video, lads. Thanks so much for tuning in. And for all your lovely comments, as always, you're a bunch of legends. And remember what I said, guys, you know, if, you, if your holidays have been cancelled, don't worry about it. Enjoy your time at home with your family and with your friends and then save up all the money you can and you can do like canyoneering when you go next time. How's about that? Yeah, we're not sure what we're going to do next week. We're still undecided. We're wondering whether we stay on Sky or go over to Lewis and Harris. But you'll just have to come back next week to find out. Fingers crossed we don't get swept away by the weather and uh, Mrs Sturgeon doesn't kick us out. So uh, with that being said, always remember guys, unless the Prime Minister says you can't, rule your own world. One, two, three, bye! bye.